What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. And today we're going to do uh, something a little bit different. We're pretty much going to expand this place here. Uh, I've got an idea on how big I want it, but I'm not sure exactly. Uh, also, I was able to find like a 600 shovel, iron shovel, so I should be able to uh, dig this pretty big. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking going maybe about this big out and covering all this with our, our things like our cement, uh, concrete. I always call it cement. I don't know why. It's just cement is an ingredient of concrete. It's not concrete. So, alright, I don't know exactly how many blocks this is, uh, maybe I should check. Let's see, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we're going nine. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> six, seven, eight, and nine. And the last side, not the least. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is going to be the size. So the reason I'm doing this is... Uh, I was thinking of using uh, the auger. Uh, is because sometimes they're going to be around here and they're going to start getting stuck here and they're going to attack the block down. So if we have something all flat, they will not attack it. That is my way of thinking this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oops, I didn't want to break this. All right, let's take this. Well, let's make like the the circle around. So it's gonna go around our thing. Uh, to be honest, this I'm not sure like I really like it. I don't really see the point currently in having it. Uh, simply for the fact that it's completely useless. <laughs> I, I don't need it. I've got enough powers for days. Uh, let's uh, take, take, let's uh, take. All right, so let's see. This thing goes all the way here. All right, there we go. Let's go that way. There we go. We're almost there. But yes, yeah, so this thing here, I'm just not a fan of it. Uh, it's just not beautiful. It's not aesthetically pleasing to my eyes, so I'm thinking about uh, removing it. And let's go here. The thing, I think I was exactly correct with my prediction. Oh, I think I went one more here. Yes, it did. Dang it. Wasn't the plan. That wasn't the plan. Yeah, here too, I went one more. So pretty much now we're gonna go all the way in the middle. Yeah, for the middle we're gonna use the shovel. It's just the shovel doesn't care about the plant at the top, like it doesn't take a swing to get. That's what's cool about the shovel. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be big, uh, but I think it's gonna be perfect. What we will also do is place spikes. Uh, the spikes at the top, they, they won't attack the spikes because they don't have a wall in front, so they're just gonna walk on them, and then they're gonna get, like, damaged 
So the only issue with this, which is not really an issue, it's just a little bit sad, is we're gonna have even less zombies in the hole. That's what it means. So it's a little disappointing for that. There we go. It's a good amount. <laughs> it's funny that it makes the sound of wood when it's like not really wood. Well, it's made of twigs, but like it doesn't make the sound of a freaking plank wood breaking. <laughs> that makes no sense. So, yeah, pretty much uh, I'm going to continue uh, lowering this, maybe removing that part. Like I said, it's not really my style. We might move it. I'm not, I haven't decided what I want to do or solar panels or anything of the sort. But uh, yeah, we might move it instead. I, I was thinking of trying something, which I'm not sure it's going to work. Uh, well, let me just tell a little bit. So, since we can do slopes, and these are pretty much slopes. I was thinking of putting them a little bit further back around here and putting this in the place where the slopes would be instead of having actual slopes. So that way it would act as a slope and I don't think the zombie would attack it because they would rarely go to this side. So I'm thinking it might be a solution. I'm not sure exactly. But uh... Alright, I'm going to continue breaking the ground and I'll bring you guys back when we've got a hole dig up. Alright, so I dug a hole and started placing a little bit of uh, things over here uh, just to, you know, know where things go because I forgot to bring my cement. Uh, the thing is I want to place some spikes but I don't want them to be, uh, you know, just... Uh, everywhere so and also we're gonna see under so that means that i'm going to uh, dig one more down uh just where there's none of these oh i've also removed this it actually fell when i was uh, removing the ground so i just decided to go along and just remove it and that was the way it went down <laughs> But yeah, so pretty much we're going to have a ring around here. Uh, over here, like I said, there was going to be a, like a slope. And then over here, we're, I might go one more just to have three after the slope. But I think this is going to be really good uh, to have. I I'm using the auger simply because my shovel's elbow's broken. And I don't want to lose a 600 shovel to like for a $5.99 uh, so the only way to repair it I think is to mix it with another one and I don't think I've got another one and I'm not even sure it's gonna allow me because of the fact that it's a 600 and I can't do 600 yet but I can use this thing and repair it easily so why not use this oh I made a hole here uh, how do I get out oh there we go that's how I get out so we've got to do this everywhere, then place the bottom bits. So this is good when I get here, like I get like plenty of experience. It's the same thing when you mine. It's like the best way to get experience. Do big rooms and I'm going to get like freakishly a lot of experience. If there's things to mine, if you just mine dirt or stone, you're not going to get anything. But if you get iron, if you get lead, oh dropped something um where is it oh it's there there there's like one glitched here that i can't like grab it it's not there and i can't grab it and it so it's just freaking annoying because it's there but it's not there so yeah i'm now like level 104 and i believe the next level that is important is like 120 at 120 uh, let's repair it. You you can start uh, like having pretty much everything filled up, and you can do level. F you can mix to six hundred, I believe. 
uh, we can check over here. Uh, I've got the toolsmith way up. Uh, could like boost everything else. The al armor crafting, I've got pretty good armor, so I don't think I need to go any bigger. Like these things we need to do, so I can do two gunsmithing. Let's do gunsmithing as well. But yeah, those are the things that we are trying to boost to the end, but to level them you need to be 120. So eventually I will continue mining underground. Uh, I need to do a path so that I can put my bike inside and not just leave it outside like I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, so that should be fine. Doing pretty good. So, the the long part would, you, you guys would think it's the mining that takes the longest part, but the longest part, oops, I don't know why I recharged, uh, is actually placing all these rebar frame down. <laughs> That's the longest part. Because of the game, sometimes when you click, doesn't happen. Like, it's just a little bit annoying to the fact that, like, it doesn't work all the time, and you kind of have to click a couple of times to do it. It's the only thing I'm not, like, a fan about the game, like, those little glitch, but it's still an alpha, so, you know, it's normal there's glitch. But before implementing other things, I would fix these kind of things. That's just the way I see it. But I can't complain about the fact that this game is freaking amazing, so. Oh, I forgot that I do need to remove Zonder. Oh, and maybe even these. Because when we're gonna put this, oh no, it's true. I don't. I don't. Uh, we're gonna do it here just because. Well, there's a hole, but this is gonna go all the way. So we won't be seeing any of the ground. So that's good. Uh, this is why I made like little things here. Uh, since I'm going to have, like, spikes everywhere, I need a way to get in and out. <laughs> if I need to do some repairs, access things, well, that's how we're going to do it. So much stuff to place. Doesn't block me from placing things. Normally when there's things on the ground, you can't place anything. But look, there's stone and it allows me to place. So I was thinking of... Here, as you can see, it's steel, so I'm gonna leave like this to, to concrete. The ring on the outside is going to be concrete. And at the top, I'll have concrete, steel, concrete. Just so it looks cool. I think it's gonna look pretty, uh, pretty nice. This thing. But, alright guys. So, like I said, this is pretty much the plan. So, I just need to place all these rebars down. Then grab my hammer. Come here. Fill the whole thing up with concrete. Then we're going to put some spikes over the top. Of course, uh, the spikes are going to be facing downwards, so that they don't create uh, any level difference. And that should work. So I'm going to continue placing these. I'm going to change them into concrete. And I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to place uh, spikes into here and do the sidebar. Alright guys, so check this out. Everything's dried up, everything's done, except that I need to, you know, upgrade these, but I don't have my steel on me. I've also placed one of these things here, which uh, I will be able to connect because the ladder is right somewhere around here. So, uh, there, so I should be able to connect it to the two things. But what we're here to do is place those spikes. I made 400. Uh, I'm pretty sure it might be too much. Uh, so that's pretty much how we're going to place them. So that when they walk on it, 
they're gonna get hurt real bad. And I can't wait to see if this thing works. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit weird because I presume they're all freaking gonna die before they enter the hole. So, yeah, I don't know how it's gonna go. The next seventh day is on the 35th. Look, some, uh... Hey, buddy. Uh, I could, I could, you know, just make a joke and make them come here. Of course he uses the little hole. <laughs> no legs for you. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? You got no heads. All right. Oh, I thought I hit his head, but oh, I'll take the nails. Well, I guess they're 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 passing by. So you see, that's the issue that happens uh, if you have like different levels. That's what's going to happen to your base a little bit, and that's a little bit what's going to happen here, as you can see. This one was broken. But I don't really have a choice. This thing doesn't really have a health or anything, so it should be fine. But let's continue placing those. They're going to help a lot because it's probably going to kill them before they can even like reach the side anyway. Let's place these. For, for some reason, these place faster than any other blocks. Like, the easily placed compared to anything else. I don't know why. They just do. And... This thing is gonna look snazzy. It's gonna look great. It's gonna look amazing. You know, I did like two... I did 400? I think I didn't do enough. I don't know, maybe I, I do. Well, we'll see after I did like the second corner, how many I have left. Oh yeah, I think I'm good. We're, we're gonna have maybe like 50 or 60 left when we're done. I also want to upgrade these, but I'm gonna need like to grab my metal at the bottom to do this. This is gonna be so dangerous if I want to come here. I've got to be careful. Go. If this doesn't kill them, well, like they say, it's going to make them stronger. <laughs> Don't really know. Huh? I, I can't. I can't think of a better way to kill them. To be honest, like. It's it's the best way I know of. So, alright. I see. So, pretty much it's 75 per section. So, I'm going to have 100 left. Huh. So, I just needed 300. Oh, no. I miscalculated. It's okay. We can place them somewhere else. One other thing I, I would like to do, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. I would like to have like some traps around. Just, you know, a shotgun or something. Be able to shoot them even more. <laughs> Injure them from here. But I don't know if it's worth it or not. There we have it. That's a full house. So uh, one thing that I know, uh, you know, when I was doing this thing over here for the solar panel, 
uh, I was looking at how to place my thing sideways. And I think I figured it out. So let's say I want to do uh, this one here. So it's going to go like this. Well, I'm not going to place the next one here. I'm going to place it here. Well, I, because of what I want it to do is when they're going to come, they're going to go like this. Turn around. I think. Or I could just go like that. They're going to come, they go around and they do this. The only thing is you're going to have either a wall that like that or like that. And I don't know which one is the best. If you guys know, let me know. Uh, let me know which one is the best. Is it the side way or the block orientation? So is it like in diagonal that is the best that uh, zombies are less going to get stuck or the one which is linear with the block lines. All right, let's grab some of that. Let's grab some of that. And we'll, we'll leave this here. So just so I don't upgrade something that I don't want to. Like, I think it's going to be fine then. Let's go up. This thing looks more like a killing chamber now. It, it looks all right to me. It looks better. All right, so this thing. In the middle. That's going to be pretty great. I like the look of it too. Like. Just this looks great there and looks great here as well. And really? <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Uh, all right. I also kind of wanted to upgrade these, so maybe I should get like all my steel. I'm gonna get all my steel. Anyway, I've got like so much steel. At the same time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the wood, take a couple of wood. We're gonna go down there. It's faster to use the ladder depending on where you want to go. Uh, but here, I don't have any more like a wood. So let's like split this. We're gonna put that there. All right, and we're gonna do uh, steel. One hundred steel, nine hundred steel. You can't craft because you don't have wood. Craft. So yeah, these are gonna work. They're gonna make me things that I need, and we also have some anyway at the top. Right here. That should be enough. It might need more because there's like a lot of spikes. If there's two, there was what, 300 spikes? They all need 10. So that's 3,000 steel. Yeah, I don't have 3,000 steel. <laughs> I barely have 1,500. So I don't think I'm going to upgrade all the way to steel. I'm going to upgrade to this. Maybe eventually I'll have enough to upgrade to full steel. But I don't think it's the moment for that. Wow, I can really upgrade far. Like, okay, I can't go there. It can upgrade all the way down to there. Uh, I must admit, uh, this looks a lot better than this. <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of like this metal. 
It's not that pretty. I don't know if I can... <laughs> can I paint the bottom of a spike? I should try that. That would just be freaking funny. Painting the bottom of a spike. Just see if it's gonna look any better. Damn, that's a lot of it. I should do everything from the inside and then just go on the outside for the last lane. Do I have left? Oh, 6,000, I'm still good. And my construction level is almost at 100. So that is freaking great. Like the max level soon. Right. If they survive my base, I don't know what I will have to do. Like, like I said, they had issue just dropping down the hole. So, if they have, if they survive this plus the hole, well, I guess they really wanted to hurt me. Right. And uh, almost done. To the outside. That is... Like I said, uh, I like it. I would just prefer if the spikes were another color. It doesn't look bad, but it looked way better just having this. This metal looks so much better than that crap. I don't understand how this here is supposed to be more like structurally adequate than this one. Obviously it should be the opposite. This looks like scrap. This looks like normal metal that should work together. <laughs> But yeah, all right, let's uh, continue. We were doing this here as well. Nice, we're almost done. There we go. That is freaking amazing. That is what I'm talking about. There's still uh, those spikes over here, like, uh, like I said, I'm not removing these, and these are like kind of the thing. They they keep dying over here instead of dying uh, in the hole or at the top over there. They just die at the top there instead. Uh, so I was gonna come down to take a look the paint. Do I have paint? I think I used all my paint. No, I've got some here. All right, let's see. Can we paint spikes? <laughs> That's gonna be so weird if we can. Let's get going. Okay. Uh, material. Let's go with... Uh, I think this is gonna look cool here. I don't have the wood part. Metal tread plate? Oh, you can! You can paint things. So, I don't, I don't know how far you can paint. <laughs> you can throw your paint. I, I didn't know that's how it worked. No, I've painted before, but I never tried just throwing it on the wall to see if it, you know, is going to work. But... Nice! So, pretty much, I'm going to have to do this. Uh, I will have to check. How do you make paint? Because I've got the alchemist. Oh, we need to do farming. 
Okay. Uh, okay. We'll have to plant a couple of these because, uh, well, you know, we don't have any. We do have some, but we don't have a lot. Oh yeah, this is gonna look so much better. Sadly, I don't have enough to do the whole thing, but uh, that's gonna look so much better. Might try to see what plant I have and if I can get enough paint to do this. Eventually, this thing's gonna look as amazing as it should be. Go. Let's compare one side to the other. I'm also going to repair the blocks I just saw over here. All right. Oh yeah, this is so much better than this. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Yes, this looks more industrial, which is pretty much the way uh, our base looks right now. But guys, that is going to be it for today. I do hope you enjoyed the little building episode of this trap. I wish we had something to try it on. Do I have something to try it on? Kill a guy from all the way over there to here? I don't know. Uh, anything? Anything? We don't have anything to try it on, sadly, guys. But, uh... I guess we're gonna know eventually if this thing works or not. I hope it does. So, pretty much off camera, I'm gonna try to see uh, how many more I can do. I can probably do, like, one side here. That's about it. Uh, but I won't be able to do... I think what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna do this side, just so it's... Uh, Opposite quarters are going to be like the same color. I think it's going to look better than just splitting it in the middle. So that is going to be it, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.